to check the you know, pH, the water, oxygenation levels, and lots of different things. Mm -hmm. And then as, as uh, PNNL or University of Washington, Washington State University come up with new sensors, we can put these out there and be able to collect this. My, my goal is to actually have an eighth grade science class be able to log online sure. and while they're and doing marine biology, check the health of... Awesome. Mm -hmm. yeah. Very cool. So where do you get like the, the images? Are they showing up over here? Um, well, the, actually on the top, Jim, you want to, hey Jim, you want to point out the features on the buoy, the, oh, like sure. the camera and some of the... Sure. What we have is right up on the very tip top where you see the, uh, the stick up. That is our wireless omnidirectional antenna uh, that we can... Uh, the nice thing about this is we go with a sectored antenna on the shore side and omni on this so that as the buoy moves we can still receive the, the frequencies and the data off of it. Right up on the, that little... Uh, kind of four inch dish up there. That's your weather station. You get your precipitation, humidity, uh, temperature, wind speed, wind direction, all that kind of information that gets transmitted down into this watertight container. And then the little bowl that you see up there is actually a camera, a little light -like camera, that we can do one of two things. Either keep it on the buoy and have it just kind of scan, or we can Remotely. remotely from the shore it's wirelessly cool. go in and zoom it in and etc and cool. give you that you've also got uh, 330 watt uh, solar panels for recharging the batteries the batteries are actually down inside this watertight container as well as is the radio the Wi-Fi radio that we're utilizing and that charges those batteries during the daytime now we're researching uh, another alternative to this, which as a matter of fact we're looking at today, is coming up off the other side with a wind generator to try to, to generate power that way. Because the biggest drain that we have on these is power because we're trying to transmit the data to the shore continuously, virtually. How does it, how does it monitor any water quality? Right in here, uh, there's a long tube that sticks down about eight feet down below the surface. And it's what's called as a sawn, and I've actually got it in my office. Uh, that I can show you when we go right back inside them to show you. And then there's eight sensors on the bottom of that that we can Turbidity change to whatever pH, turbidity, O2, uh, oh, which cool. is huge in Puget Sound. Yep. Yeah. And uh, so we've got those sensors that are going to come up and they're going to plug into this outlet right here and then be transmitted. We've got our software engineers right now working on a web page for us that we're going to be able to transmit this data, the environmental to the data, put it on a web page so that uh, grade school, high school kids can pull it up as well as the University of Washington. Uh, they're interested in that data as well and they pull off the scientific, but I got a couple of our engineers that are up there gonna, for lack of a better word, I don't want to say dummy it down, but to make it usable for like sixth graders yeah. and ninth graders so that they understand, <laughs> exactly, instead of just a bunch of graphs. So that's kind of the direction that we're going with on this and we're hoping to have that up shortly after the first of the year. Cool. Where we have all that, so <laughs> it's really kind of a dynamic thing. It's going to be really neat. Sense about whether there's a local company in place now ready to build these. Or? You can do it yourself. <laughs> you can do it yourself. Hire some blue collar workers and, yeah. uh, and let's get and to work. Keep it in house and, and let's get to work and bring bring the jobs to Port Town. Part of it, that's what is so fantastic about Mobile Lisa yeah. is that they're all about bringing the jobs here. And we don't want to export anything. We want to import and create jobs, and create value for Port Townsend and Chick County. So it's huge.